five medals. This man has got one of them. As for India, well, they, this is their only medalist. But what colour will it be? Sabir Khan confidently into the boxing ring. Two young Tyros going head to head here. Both of them have had national championship success in nations where boxing is passionately followed. Sadie Duffy of Ireland with the final instructions. And a touch of gloves up high before we get this contest underway to see who's going through to contest bantamweight gold here in Belgrade. So we're underway then. Boxers from India and Kazakhstan shaping up, facing off in this bronze medal match. The winner goes through to the gold medal bout and it's a very quick start by the boxer in red, Akash Kumar. He's come out full of aggressive intent, but look at that for a calmly picked Right cross from the man in blue, Mahmoud Sabir Khan. But there's plenty of motion and activity. But there's another scoring right cross from Sabir Khan. Oh, and that's a cracking right cross. Kumar's chin up in the air, and it was picked off cleanly. And here you see the contrasting approaches with which both, both of these speedsters go about their work. There is plenty of embellishment on the work of Kumar, it's full of feints and grimaces and he clenches his gum shield to celebrate his successes. But Sabir Khan, competent switch hitter, just remaining concentrated. Often it's a phlegmatic expression. But with a minute gone, both boxers have enjoyed terrific success. It was a man in red who came charging out of the gate, looking to catch Sabir Khan by surprise. But he has found his range terrifically. And how about that for movement in the pocket? Left hand ultimately went long, but it grazed across the side of the head. That one from Sabah Khan altogether more solid. Terrific punch picking once again. Kumar comes back with a right hand over the top. And this is resulting in some terrific trade-offs. First and third boxing on that occasion from the man in blue. And there's another left hand as Sabah Khan turns southpaw. The lead legs of the boxers became entangled. Pulsating action through the first half of this opening round. And Kumar having come out on the front foot has just been forced onto the back foot because Sabir Khan is quickening his feet and increasing the tempo. Operating out of the southpaw stance currently. Untidy on the inside, working away with the right hand is Sabir Khan and he scored with a clear southpaw right jab. Right hand grazed the ear of Kumar from Sabir Khan once again. Kumar scores with a right, but he's picked off by a right. Exchange of shots as Kumar scores with a right hand. Now he turns to the port-sided stance, skitting across the ropes on the perimeter of the ring. Sabir Khan scoring with a left cross, driving left hand into the body from the man in blue, and then a left hand upstairs inside the final 40 seconds of what has been a pulsating opening round. Sabir Khan showing that he's not going to be out He's not going to be manhandled on the inside, just tossing his opponent to the canvas. Referee Sadie Duffy instructs Kumar to wipe his gloves clean and we are back underway. Double left hand from the south pouring blue. Upstairs, then downstairs as he turned in underneath. Reverse one, two from Sabra Khan. Left cross, then right jab. Counter left hand after making Kumar miss. What a left hand driven into the body. The palms turned upwards. It doubled over Kumar. And this has been non-stop punching from opening bell to last. But for my money, the man in blue getting the better of that round. What say the five scoring judges? But terrific action all the way through the first three minutes. Brilliant round, brilliant round. And, and that's a clear round for the blue corner. Kumar started well. He started aggressively. He knew what was coming and he wanted to try and put Sabe Khan on the back foot. He stepped in through one twos with authority, was spite like he really meant it. And he got through with some of them. But since then, Sabir Khan, he's just got brilliant feet. He cuts down the ring well. He closes the gap well. He makes those little adjustments, gets near it. And when he punches, he lands. And he's caught Kumar again and again and again, a couple of times on the way in. But often, when the Indian fighter's trying to pull back out and get out of range, he catches him as he's doing that, as he's pulling back, as you mentioned there in commentary, Ron, his chin comes out a little bit high sometimes. Sabe Khan, you've been telling me about him. He's been in your ring all the way through. This is the first time I've seen him. He's terrific. So into the second round then. Good right hand landed behind a left jab from Akash Kumar, the reigning three-time national champion of India. 
having taken titles at the youth level in 2018, the under-21 title in 2019, and the senior title earlier this year. Terrific punch picking once again from the reigning four-time champion of Kazakhstan. Mahmoud Saber Khan took a youth title in 2019 in the most recent edition at the senior level. Good defense with the left glove and wonderful footwork to bob and weave. But while he was pinned against the ropes, Kumar did come through with a right hand to catch the more compact boxer wearing blue. Beautiful right cross landed by Kumar. Clean shot and again, well, Saber Khan saying, well, listen, he's throwing himself down. Look how small I am, ref. I can't do that. But Kumar comes back, scores with a good left jab to the body. That's countered by a right jab to the body by the man in blue. And Kumar, well, he's having success here. He's less exuberant, less extravagant with his punches. And in the first minute of this second round, he has had success shooting straight down the middle and getting them back to the on-guard position, whether that's with the right hand around his peck and left hand by his belt line or back to protect his chin. Approaching the midpoint of the second round, Kumar just stealing a glance to his corner as he had Sabir Khan in a headlock. And this is a far better first half of the round for Kumar. Sabir Khan not able to demonstrate the terrifically quick feet and lightning fast hands that served him so well in the opening round. And there's a left jab success once again. The right hand was rather nullified by Kumar, a bit smothered. And this drop in tempo is really suiting the Indian boxer. But there, Sabir Khan gets on the front foot, scores with a left cross, then a right jab, and then another left cross, and tries to quicken his feet once again to return to the success that he enjoyed in the first round. Kumar with his legs spread wide in the boxing ring, standing his ground, and it's a lower punch output. As Kumar scores with a right cross on the resumption once again, Cries of Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan reverberating around the Stark Arena as Kumar got through with the right hand a few moments ago. Sabir Khan comes back with a left cross. 40 seconds to go in this second round. Both boxers looking for big backhands, but then after they entangled on their first attempted exchange, oh, that's a rather looking, a rather ugly looking tumble to the canvas. But it was Kumar who got the successful shot through before the takedown. 20 seconds to go in the second round. Exchange of jabs and a big backhand punctuates that exchange from Sabir Khan. Kumar claiming his man. Referee saying no holding red. He the man breaching the rules in that regard. Reverse one, two, left, right from Sabir Khan. But then Kumar coming back with right cross successes of his own. There's a right hand from Sabir Khan who quickens his feet. Lands two punches after the bell. Much better round for the Indian boxer. It was, it was. That's a tight round because he came out again stepped into the middle of the ring, let his hands go there, Kumar, and he had success, particularly in that first half of the round. After about a minute and a half, for the next 30, 40 seconds, Sabe Khan then came back into it, landed some meaty blows, and I thought at that point he might take over and take it away for the rest of the round. Kumar didn't really let him do that, and looking at the scores there, Sabe Khan's got it 4-1. I think Kumar's a bit unlucky there. I think he could have got more of that round, but I think we would always be looking at split scoring. I wouldn't say there was there was a clear winner of that round, but unfortunately for, for Kumar, that means that he's two points down and with four of the judges, so he needs something huge in this final round. But I really like what he did in that second round. It's almost like he said to himself, OK, you might be the technically better fighter here, but I'm going to keep my feet close. I'm going to stay on top of you. And if I'm going down here, I'm going down swinging. So we're going to the third and final round then between these two talented boxers from the continent of Asia. Kumar competed in the World Youth Championships in Budapest three years ago, was eliminated in the second preliminary round. Sabir Khan boxed his way all the way through to the podium, a third place finisher at 49 kilogram light flyweight. Three consecutive Asian continental titles, taking the junior title in 2017 and consecutive youth titles in 2018 and 2019. Here he is on the senior stage when he contested the Asian Continental Championships at the senior level earlier this summer. That was up here at, well, it was up at 56. This is 54 kilogram bantam, and he was eliminated in the first preliminary round. But look at that for a one-two. Hands down by his side and just lightning fast, straight shots fired in. Kumar hitting on the break. Sabir Khan stealing a glance to his corner. And now when he presents this posture, he knows, thanks to Aiba Life scoring, that the man in red has got to come onto him. 
but still he's not conceding ground he's holding his feet and scoring with a lightning fast southpaw left like that counter-attacking while in the pocket and this is exactly what the man in blue did he says yeah bring it to me because i'm right here you might be trying to get on the front foot but i'm not going anywhere i'm not backing up i'm standing my ground and if you try and enter my territory i'm going to put you on the end of straight shots this is exactly what he did with that double right jab there against Kim in Q, the 2017 World Championship bronze medalist, where he produced a display of brilliant speed and accuracy to completely dominate his opponent from Korea. So both men have enjoyed big victories en route to this semi-final. And here, during the semi-final, there's a graze around the right eye around the temple to be more precise on the head of Sabir Khan. Left hook is a scoring shot from Kumar. But that's an example of how Kumar, excuse me, Sabir Khan goes about his craft because he's got the gold medal about to come here, remember. But rather than nursing the victory over the line and managing it, he's just sending a message to all of Asia, to all of the world here at the semi-final stage in the World Championships, that if you step into this ring with me, this is what you're going to have to deal with. Just checks that injury, which you can no doubt feel. The blood just trickling down the side of his head. Overhand left from Kumar, not too far away. And that's the thing about the sport of boxing. It's not like, no disrespect intended, and I'm not looking to start a a barrage of criticism or insults on social media, but in some sports, if you're in a group stage contest or indeed single elimination, you can coast over the line, but that not in Sabir Khan's DNA, and he continued to compete right up until the, open, open, the final bell, looking to dominate that third round as well. And for my money, he's going to be declared a unanimous points victory over Akash Kumar. I would agree. I would agree. It's just not in his nature to do anything other than, than engage. And the same can be said of... Kumar, I liked what he did there, the Indian fighter. He knew that was a tough task, and he absolutely tried to take it to Sabir Khan every second for the nine minutes there. He's come off second best, but there's a lot to be proud of for him. Sabir Khan is just one of those fighters who's a little bit special. So a two-shot salvo with the left hand from Mahmoud Samir Khan having been declared the victor over Akash Kumar. And it's wonderful to see that sportsmanship between the two boxers. That is how he did it. All five judges scoring in his favor, taking all three rounds for the judges from Korea, Canada and Egypt. We're going to see this man again in the gold medal bout that will be contested in the evening session. Who will he be facing? We'll find out at the conclusion of the second semi-final. But a brilliant tournament by Akash Kumar. His first appearance at a senior world championships and the Indian boxer walking away with world championship bronze and 25,000 US dollars as India continued to state their credentials as a powerhouse boxing nation in the Aiba Code. They've had a big year. They've had a big year. We saw them have so much success at the World Youth, of course, back in Kielce in April where they got seven gold medals from their female fighters and their, their male fighters have stepped up here in this senior elite world championships. Sabe Khan there with what for him is quite an exuberant celebration. He's, he's fairly, he's fairly sphinx-like, isn't he? He doesn't really give too much away.